is Zamper. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch with me. Me and my lovely Oshawa Gilbert are here to watch the last episode of season six of My Hero Academia with you all. I'm I have mixed feelings about this episode. We know that Stain has kind of been following All Might, Papa All Might, so I'm really nervous to see what's gonna happen. But I'm excited to see how this season will leave off. So keep in mind, guys, if you want to see my full uncut reactions, you can check them out over on my Patreon page. Link down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get started. Oh, I'm so nervous. If All Might dies, I'll scream. I will literally scream bloody murder. The reality is you've been holding him back. Great job, All Might. Aww. That's so sad. What's this? Have you come to blaspheme against a great hero? I think not, heretic. Oh? Unfortunate that our paths never crossed when he was still a hero who could have stopped you. I am all right. You lie! Don't disgrace his name with your falsehoods! I don't blame you for thinking that I'm lying. Oh, he came! He's still alive. Okay. You gonna kill me now? I didn't know if he could even hold it for a second anymore. It's a trick! There's no way you're the real old knight! You're an imposter! You're on sacred ground! This is uh, how I thought things would go. But I didn't think he was going to be this protective of the statue ground. I was supposed to protect my successor. But I couldn't even find a way to protect him from himself. Oh, baby! It's obvious. I am a failure. Watching everyone else become true heroes. Please don't. Oh. I don't feel safe. Hmm. Usually a hugger, but we just <laughs> met. Perfect timing. Watch! Every day without fail. She cleans this statue the hero haters love to defy. Aww. She's probably staying at a nearby shelter. No doubt they'd rather she not come out here. That's so cute! Because she's the last person All Might saved. Don't lose. Keep going! Stop! Are you kidding me? All Might smiled as he faced the insurmountable. That didn't have anything to do with his power. It was the only way the symbol of peace knew to bring security to the citizens. People praised the heart of his conviction. You say you're All Might, but you obviously have no idea who he was. Look at that woman. I like that he's just manhandling All Might. <laughs> they are fueled by the select few who live in his image. Wow, I did not think we were going to get this from blades. Stain. I really the didn't think so. Is making sure that fire doesn't go out. As long as we're alive, we have to keep stoking those flames. Wow. If a person has the soul of a hero, they exist only to help other people. But if a god is reduced to a mortal shell, one who can fall in the rain, what then? Wow. <laughs> this whole time, you've... I don't know who you are. But if you really have the soul of a hero, prove it. Use this information I took from Tartarus. <gasps> what? Make sure you track me down and put an end to stain. The vigilante who yeah. killed 40 years. Okay, I actually was wondering about that because he wanted... Society. His whole thing was he wanted All Might to kill him. And I kind of thought that's where this was going to go. That he would find out it's All Might and be like, kill me. But this turned out so much better than I thought. The rain's clearing up. I love what they did with this. That was solid writing. Honestly, solid. Because for us, Stain was a very complex, but not that complex of a character. He had a lot of complex feelings, but when it came down to it, he just admired All Might and just wanted to do a very backwards-esque solution to get rid of these false heroes because he's you know found all might to be a true hero with 
pure intentions didn't matter about fame and money. He just wanted to be this righteous symbol. So I love how this played out. That was so good. And it got me crying. <laughs> so that's always fun. What is the information, I wonder? Maybe the meat meeting place? I want that one Gucci pot. Let's heat it up. <laughs> Bath time. <laughs> They are all naked. I'm, no, I'm just not gonna look for maybe a hot Most minute. Most things in life can be fixed if you take a nice long <laughs> so. look. at their faces! What? He's turning up the bath water! Scrape the skin with steel wool and back at the bleach first! Please don't use bleach and don't use steel wool against him. Make no mistake, I'm still gonna be number one. That's fair. Which means you extras are my rivals. Okay. And you know I'm mostly talking to you, right there. Uh, Izuku! <gasps> Guys, thank you. And I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. Keeping one for all from us the whole time? Super lame. <laughs> the bright side is, after reading your bonkers confession, nothing's gonna surprise me. Fair. I just wish you would have told Hobbs to return my calls. Sorry about that. I imagine it was difficult to go from being quirkless to wielding such a power. You managed it, though. We all have questions, but Midori is tired. Let the guy get some rest. Isn't that one of the main reasons we brought him back? Thank you, Todoroki. I'll be honest, he needs to rest. Like, everyone's curious, and I don't blame them, but Deku needs to go sleep. Thanks for the concern, but I can't sleep. Why not? I acted pretty terribly towards All Might, and I haven't apologized. Oh, you're worrying about Papa All Might! Oh! Huh? Ah! You're outside! I am here to apologize for not being of any use. Truth is, I lost sight of who I was. I thought I was no longer a hero. Even if all I can do is crawl, I'll still fight. Aww. Because I want to witness the fire raging in their hearts. Yes! Papa Amai! We stand! <laughs> There's new intel. We should have more information in the coming days. Yes! We'll need everyone's help. Yes! Keep in mind, this weakened body may limit my usefulness, but I'll do my best. Okay! Oh, Let's go! The food you brought me gave me the strength to keep going. I'm sure that I lost my way because I distanced myself from you. So from now on, we fight side by side. Oh, Let's protect the world. I love this. I love it so much. I'll show these kids that I can stand by their I'm gonna side. Cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry again. Anyway, I gotta go. Please tell Hobbs you could at least send me a text message. Right. Hobbs, I, me. <laughs> I love how like hard he's being on Hawks. Like, bro, please tell him. You could have had him call me. Like, fuck him. Seeing someone finally calm down enough to get some Aww. sleep. As Dobby's brother and Endeavor's son, I know people are skeptical about me being here too. And I'll destroy any doubts about me. Huh? I'll do my best to regain everybody's trust. Get that chivalry! You're making me cry! <laughs> Tears! Are you crying? Am I crying? No, I'm not crying. You're crying. If we could do it back then, I know that we could do it. Back then. <laughs> we just have to give it our all. Let's show them who we are. Yeah, you're right. Why did. Was that Ida that slapped him? Did I miss a joke? What the fuck happened there? A month has passed since the attack on Tartarus, which in theory oh. left us with another 30 days or so to plan our next move on All for One in the League. It's been a month? Or so we thought. We received Tartarus security records from Stain. I never thought that the hero killer would end up being some sort of ally. It is surprising. I, I legitimately thought Stain was just gonna like find out it was All Might and be like, please kill me. Oh, we get to see what how he this got mess? this. Okay. If Tartarus is fallen, what of the outside world? I need information. Oh. You're quite a smart, resourceful guy. Damn. The others clung to their weapons as they died. But this man mm. is cradling that box as though it were his child. This must be important. Yeah. 
Does he actually get shot? Those files have to go to someone just! This world is broken. But you don't have to worry. I'll pass your conviction on to a worthy man. Oh. I will entrust this to the only man I believe in. Oh wow, you swam all the way here? Pass on his resolve. Oh damn. Tartarus has a security system that's completely cut off from the outside world. It's a defensive measure. We shouldn't have been able to get our hands on this data at all. Wasn't there Especially since it contains the three of the ships the though? Were they just three copies of the same thing? Or did they have different information on them and he's just withholding information from us? I'm gonna assume they all had the same stuff. Our analysis shows that the radio waveforms recorded at Tartarus were in fact a conversation. I didn't realize we had those results oh. back. Any idea what they were saying? That Shigaraki would be complete in 38 days. From now? <sighs> from right now, or? Reports from Central say it'd be two months. I don't get oh. it. Oh, so we have eight? Are you telling me you have like seven to eight days left? Which means Shigaraki, all for one's vessel, will be complete. About three days. Three days? That's worse than what I thought! What oh, three days? He himself? He's asking for them to be deployed tomorrow, but that's impossible. A mountain of paperwork is required to dispatch heroes overseas. Wait, so we it's been a month since the attack on Tartarus? And we still don't fucking have other heroes from other countries? Are you kidding me? It's been a month! Every country is facing domestic threats. The villains are conspiring across borders. According okay. to Interpol, all for one has allies and supporters scattered across the globe. Mm. That may be Okay, fair. Al Salam wants to move out immediately. Oh, hey. He's convinced he'll be the one to take down all for one. Oh. Big Red Dot in my country is also chopping at the bit. Big Red Dot. Oh. He's asking why bureaucracy should keep him from sending a friend. Aww. So our hero left already oh. oh apparently she couldn't stand to wait around she dropped everything and flew Ooh. off Ooh. who is she if you get drunk, star. Star. it wasn't a question of whether or not i would help so why not start sooner rather than later oh. and besides we're talking about a direct request from all mike himself if my master's got himself in trouble why would i even think twice before rushing to his side Oh, you just fell in love with her, didn't you? Yeah, I just fell in love with her. Oh, Which gosh. Means now, okay. It's your turn. <laughs> okay, there's a lot to process. We'll talk about it soon. But those things away. They look <laughs> right. I'm sorry. I'm there's no need to worry about right. Something I never thought I would say. The final battle draws near. But don't be enough. I'm not afraid. I know that I'm not alone. The world will get better. We'll put an end to despair and go beyond. Dang. That was a lot we were just handed there at the end. Like, okay. So we're, we're having some heroes come over from the third my hero movie world yeah the world one we're having some of them but we're also having the u.s Zoom we got the stars and stripes coming in hot oh <laughs> okay i'm here for her i'm here for her Okay, we have to talk about her. We have to talk about her first. Oh my goodness. Star and Stripe. The number one, I, I kind of looked it up because I was slightly curious. The number one hero in the US, it seems. Um, oh my gosh, I love her. Everything about her is so America. Like, look, I'm not one to have any like flags up or anything like that for the America. But, um, damn, she can spangle my stars any day. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to Star and Stripe. <laughs> like, damn, okay. Maybe I'm okay with living in America. Like, ow! She's beautiful. I love that uh, All Might is her mentor, too. Like, 
what I'm curious to see what happened there or what what was going on to because we know All Might was in America for a while. So he must have had some influence on her, but I feel like that was a good while ago because we know All Might had um, one for all for 40 years. So she seems to be a... No, I don't want to say middle-aged, but probably around my age. Maybe like an under 30-ask lady, you know? So I wonder when she they met and mentored. We know when he was in America. That would have been like da, 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 20 plus years ago. So she doesn't seem older than All Might. So he must have met her when she was relatively young. If it was when he was in America. So that's very interesting because Dave had a child. OK, so we think of child M Melissa. Dave had a child who was like 15. So it's been a hot minute. So it has, it's been like 20 years or so. So she must have been relatively young. So he must have saved her. Potentially is my guess. But she said mentor. So I don't really know. I, I'm not quite sure that relation there. But that's interesting. I love her. And I love that little tidbit we had where basically they're like, uh, our hero already left. And they're like, what the fuck? And she's just like, uh, like, I'm going to say no. Like, honestly, what an American vibe to just like go in. Like, no questions asked. Like, you need help? We're coming down there. <laughs> like, I love it. I also love the voice actor. I need to look up and see who's doing it because I adore it. It's just as very, I don't want to say grandiose because I think All Might is grandiose. But hers is very... Pompous? Is that wrong to say? Bold? Bold. Confident? Is very, I will be there. Like it's, it's, it's like very much the female all oh my voice I would expect from like a kind of like a gender bent all might. So I love her. I adore her. I'm so excited to see more of her next season, which I believe next season is. And correct me if I'm wrong, it's expected to be fall of 2024 or summer. Some I think it was fall of 2024. I think it was a full year was the expected time. I might be wrong. Correct me. Um, but I'm very excited for that. Continuing on, though, uh, the hero killer stain. Somehow it went exactly the way I thought it would. And yet not at all the way I thought it would. I cried. No way around it. I cried. <laughs> I am so glad that I won't have to cry anymore on Saturdays now that the season's done. I basically just accepted Saturdays are when I just like cry. <laughs> I have just like accepted it or whatever day I end up crying because I maybe didn't watch it on Saturday. But I've just expected my hero's just going to make me cry. <laughs> um, But yeah, that went different, but exactly how I thought. Because I figured, because... Stain's whole thing was he wanted to meet All Might because he wanted All Might to kill him. He didn't want anybody else to take him down or kill him. He wanted All Might. He wanted to be taken down by a true hero, the pure of heart, yada, 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 hero. So I kind of didn't know how it would go down. I was going to guess that Stain obviously does not know All Might has kind of lost his powers and such. I'm sure he's maybe heard about it, but wouldn't know... Um, Toshi was all might. So he would have been kind of confuddled. But I love that we basically ran into him, met him at the all might statue. Uh, overall, that scene was just very powerful. Uh, definitely went differently than I thought, but in the best way possible. I, again, I applaud the writing. This season has been fantastic. So many, uh, beautiful moments that have just happened. Uh, a lot of Things that have been building finally paying off. And maybe some are a little bit contrived, like having uh, Koda uh, come out and be like, Mr. Deku! And having like the, uh, I'm so sorry, Animorph lady. I can't remember how she addressed herself. But having her come out as well and being there to support Deku. Uh, Uraka supporting, having the Toga kind of moment with Uraka. 
Uh, all these beautiful moments, beautiful payoffs, Deku's training coming in clutch with learning uh, float, Vajim, all that stuff on the fly. I greatly appreciate just how far everything has come and how effortlessly things have just kind of fallen. And it just kind of allowed this nice domino effect of all these things building to finally kind of go off. And I think of uh, All Might too, kind of in this as well. His kind of depression of feeling like he can't be a hero anymore after being the grandest of heroes of creating kind of this monster that became Stain, creating this symbol of peace that kind of caused this issue between heroes of, you know, creating the true like bookmark and I'll be all what a hero should be like defining that and causing this problem of people not trusting other heroes because they're looking for All Might and then doubting him because he is now gone and creating this downfall of the society of heroes. Granted, it was already present there with Lady Nagant. It was just behind the surface. People weren't noticing because they were covering it up, but then kind of coming to the surface with uh, uh, All For One. So I, I love how this is all came out just expertly crafted writing in this season that I can't help but just admire so much. Um, but yes, going back to my original point of Stain, I thought it was very interesting because he doubted uh, All Might at first, but then kind of coming through, having that moment where he was like, whether you are or aren't, I don't know. I'm not going to just kill a random person because obviously you seem like a weak dude but if you are him like I need you to look at this because you sound pathetic right now my dude and then showing that and this I'm gonna get teary-eyed again but showing the woman who was the last person that All Might saved which I think was this beautiful moment yes again maybe slightly plot mcguffin whatever that she's just randomly there but I love that we pick that back up that she held significance to us to this world and i think it's such a beautiful poetic moment to have this woman who was about to die suffer you know terrible consequences being saved by you know our grandiose hero but in that process him losing his powers you know falling to his darkest roughest moment and then having this woman unknowingly be the inspiration, the hope, the chalice of reinvigoration for All Might to, you know, really grab a hold of himself and recognize that he still is a hero. Yes, he cannot go out and like bam, bam, bam people like he once can, but the man can still be a hero. And I love how you phrase it. He's like, even if I am just crawling, I can still be a hero. Like, I can still push forward and help. Like, because he was just like, I'm getting in Deku's way. Like, I'm being a disturbance. Like, I'm holding him back, blah, 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 blah. And which was interesting because I felt like in the previous episode before kind of the whole speech situation with Uraka and stuff who, you know, he saw that and he kind of took it the opposite way of like, yeah, we're all here supporting Deku. He's like, oh, I'm a, I'm, I'm the bad person here like I'm stopping Deku from reaching his full potential like he doesn't need me like I don't know what I'm doing but it's just it's so oh it was just so good it was a beautiful moment so well crafted I, I could go on and on there's just so much there to digest in those moments oh there, there there's so many layers of just this beauty of having you know a regular, I, I mean, the last episode and this episode, having these regular civilians come back from these episodes to be a catalyst of change and be these heroes, be these literal heroes to help inspire other people to help our heroes. Like, I didn't know, but the uh, dude with the little kind of star-shaped ears I didn't realize he was a dude from the first episode. I had no idea. Like, he was such a small character. But yeah, he's back there being this change for us, speaking out, being a hero. And I love that. And then we have this lady who is going, cutting down the signs on all my statue, cleaning it up, polishing it, 
and caring because she still believes in him and knows he is a hero and doing his best and witnessed all of this monstrosity, these horrible things firsthand and could still put herself in danger to do that because she believes in him and believes in the hero. So it's lovely. I thought everything about this was so well done. Like I could just like sit here and cry and gush about it for probably hours at this point because I... I feel like they have just crafted the season so well. And there's just so many beautiful payoff moments that like I that I'm missing. Because like, like I said, I didn't even know the dude was from the first episode. I had no idea that was the same man for the first episode. Like, gosh, it, it's just incredible. The the attention to detail and remembering those small things and not just throwing those characters away is honestly impressive. Yes, you can just go back through and find those characters and be like, oh, let's just randomly throw that person in. But you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. That is only somebody who cares about this story who would take time to go back through and put that character in. And it's people who sincerely care about this manga, story, anime, whatever you want to call it, to recognize that those characters are there. Yes, I have many other things I'm watching. It's been five years. Four years. <laughs> since I've watched, you know, the first episode. So yes, excuse me, <laughs> but it's all beautiful. So I can't stress enough how absolutely, I absolutely excited I am to watch season seven next year because I have just, I have loved this season. I honestly, I would probably put season six of my hero. Oh, I, mm, I don't know if I put it at 10 out of 10, just because I feel I would love for Bones to just put maybe a little more money into the animation budget to get some cooler scenes. But there was a lot of cool ones this season. Don't get me wrong. But I would like to get maybe a little more, a little more detail in some of those action scenes. So I think I can safely give it like a 9 out of 10. Like flawless execution. Music's always great. Storytelling. Um, voice work. Everything. I would put it a 9 out of 10. It was incredible. So... Definitely excited for next season to see uh, what's around the corner. And if we get any OVAs too between them, that would be nice. <laughs> but I'm excited to see the American hero. It'll be great. I'll, I'll make sure to go get a flag and represent my lady. <laughs> but seriously, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, We're going to be starting Demon Slayer, if that's your cup of tea as well. Uh, that'll be coming this week as well at this point. And then we'll be watching it. Uh, throughout season three so if you like demon slayer make sure to go check out those reactions too because that's the next thing we meander on to <laughs> but seriously guys thank you so much uh please remember if you like this video and you want to see the demon slayer ones use that little pinky to hit that subscribe button that way you get notified and i'll see you all later bye